goes. Punishment. That's how it goes. Mellow Marrow. There you are. Rank. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because we are running something that I've wanted to run for a while. We're kind of making our way through the variety of black colored decks here, as I like to do. Uh, and we are doing the Rakdos. We are doing with, uh, we are doing Rakdos with the new cards to really, really bring up the damage to a crazy amount. Using none other than Oger Axonil, the deepest might, who looks sick, dude. He's like a dinosaur god thing. He has an arm that's a dinosaur and his face is a skull. This dude is freaking sick. He has a flaming sword. Like, they were just told the artist, just go freaking nuts. Do every metal thing that you can think of. Just make this dude as metal as hell. And they did. And he is good. He is a very good uh, card right here. So we are going to run this Rakdos. Burn them up, burn them down. Before we get down to how this one works, the nitty gritty of how this one works, I need you to do something for me though. Do you know what that is? That is of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press the like and subscribe button, uh, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. Which, as you may or may not know, is a YouTube werewolf who will viciously maul you for not liking and subscribing to the channel today. So join the fill-ins and tenderly hit those buttons for me join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain j for a live stream of goodness we would love to have you there live and in person on twitch we also stream on youtube as well hit the bell so you won't miss when we go live on youtube you won't miss any other uploads either you can check out our discord community for all the latest news and information post your decks ask questions hang out post memes whatever you want in the discord uh links down there as well and of course this deck and all the other ones that i build are available down below on my aether hub and I finally stopped being la lazy. I'm also on Untapped. I'll put both of those links down there for Aetherhub and Untapped if you want a copy of this deck. It's right down there in the description. So what are we talking about with this Rakdos, Burndos, Smackdos? Well, we need to ping people with damage. This is kind of a burn deck, thanks to Oger Axanil. Um, <clears throat> the number one thing we're going to do is play with fire. Again, scrying is actually kind of important. That scry one and, of course, the ability to do two damage to anywhere on the board. Planeswalker, face, creature, whatever, um, at instant speed. Fantastic. The good combo with Oger Axonil is that anytime you do non-combat damage from a red source, it automatically goes to four, or it goes to whatever the power of uh, Oger Axonil is. So even it de defaults at four, and then it becomes something even bigger if you get him to even stronger heights. So all of a sudden, with him on the board, that does four damage. You can hold a bunch of these in your hand and four ping somebody out. Direct damage to any target right there. It's fantastic. Voldaren Epicure. Again, looking at these small pings, right? The whole point of the deck is to get Ojer out. Um, this small ping of one damage, if he's out, guess what? That's a four ping for one red mana. You get one damage to an opponent, create a blood token, and you create a 1-1 one -one vampire creature. We're also going to want those blood tokens to help with card draw and be a good sacrifice for our uh, for our Oni Cold Anvil, which is still in commission. Believe it or not, the Anvil is still singing. Um, good stuff. Fanatical Offering. Now, you say, okay, Jay, you've played this in a bunch of your decks. You're going to just get, Jay, all right. You just like the artwork of Vito sacrificing blood. Um, you know, you just like to see Vito in his sick-ass black and gold robes looking awesome. That may be so. Okay, that may be so. But also, it's a great way to get cards at instant speed. Sacrifice a creature, uh, an artifact or a creature. Love it. Lots of flexibility there. Don't always have to be a creature. Artifacts. Guess what's artifacts? Blood tokens are artifacts. Treasure tokens are artifacts. Um, the, little, the little robot goblin guys right here, the little Oni goblin guys that we get from Cold Anvil, those are artifacts. So for two mana, getting two creatures for a sacrifice and we get a map token, fantastic. You're saying, Jay, what does a map token do? It's a new thing from Ixalan. Uh, you, sac you pay one, sacrifice it. A target creature you control explores as a sorcery. What does explore do? Um, it's basically an explore token. So basically what that does, you look at the top card. If it's a land, put it in your hand. If it's anything else, you either get to keep it on the top of your deck or you can put it in your graveyard. So 
Uh, if it's a non-land card, that creature that you told to explore gets plus one, plus one. It's a little complicated. It's in that text box there, but it is actually very useful. Infernal Grasp. Yeah, a little bit of removal. We're going to need targeted removal here with all the burn. I know we could go with heavy burn, but um, uh, we just need removal. Sometimes you need a shield out of the way. You need something big out of the way. That's what we're going to go for the kill. We are gaining a little bit of life, so I'm not worried about the two life loss. Somebody else um, told me there's no reason not to consider running uh, Bitter Triumph. Uh, that's not a bad one either. I see you, dude, who left a comment saying Bitter Triumph was a good one. Uh, I just don't like the artwork because one of vampires being killed. Yeah, I don't like to see that. One black and one additional uh, discard a card to pay three life. Don't really want to discard a card, but if you have the life, you can destroy target creature and planeswalker. That helps with planeswalkers. So that's what we're doing. Now we're going to keep talking about the one pings right here. Again, all going back to Odor Axinal. Kessig Flame Breather. One red and one. This is honestly, um, it's a common. one. Uh, it's a one three. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, so that's not just a sorcery, any or sorcerer instant any spell that's not a creature he deals one damage to your opponent guess what with odra axon on the board he does four damage or however much the odra is power is that time uh fantastic lightning strike um three damage to any target for two mana probably one of the best trades you can do for mana to damage in magic the gathering aside from the original lightning bolt uh, really good stuff here and again doing it to directly to face we want to get people down so low that we could maybe play a play with fire and a lightning strike back to back and end the game just by hitting damage to the face really really useful for creature removal planeswalker removal and just direct damage here we have scalding viper never really got his due tried to make a tried to make an is it with him he didn't really live in is it he is craving uh rakdos I am not even a little bit playing steam steam clean. I do generate a little bit of treasure in this deck, so if you technically want to play steam clean, you technically could. I'm not putting any islands in it. It's not really necessary. What we want from him, the Scalding Viper, is his actual Scalding Viperness, which is one red and one, two, one. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with mana value three or less, deals one damage to that player. Again, say it with me, folks. You probably figured it out already. With Ogier, that one damage goes to four. Do you see all of the combinations we hear? If I cast a spell, if they cast a spell, as soon as I cast anything, if I sacrifice something, uh, they're going to take four damage. It only takes getting four damage five times to win the game. Um, so you can see we're locking out their possibilities. If I cast a spell, they take four damage. If they cast a spell, they take four damage. It's starting to build up here. Blood Tide Harvester... Just an all-around solid vampire card right here. One red and one black. Three two. Um, when it enters the battlefield, create a blood token. Fantastic way of having an extra artifact that we can sacrifice uh, to Oni Cult or just use for a card draw. Then, of course, we could sacrifice it, tap it, and somebody gets negative X, negative X. If we have a lot of blood on the board, that's actually very useful. Also, it's just a nice beefy three two. That's a lot of hit. Um, if we drop it on turn two and they don't have defenses up by turn three, we can absolutely hit people with that one. Oni Cult Anvil, classic Rakdos colors there, blue, uh, black, and red. Whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn, create a 1-1 colorless construct artifact creature token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Sacrifice an artifact. Uh, Oni Cult Anvil deals one damage to each opponent. You gain one life. What does that mean when it deals one damage and it's a red source? It deals four. So the more of these we have, the more dangerous it becomes that we keep Ogier out there. Um... Really, really useful stuff there. I like the gain and drain abilities. We always generate blockers. If it's our turn, we create little guys that can be sacrificed for whatever reason. Great stuff. I'm throwing Breaches in there. Why do I like Breaches so much? I think he's actually a really good card. He's one of these red utility spells that I think is just fantastic. Uh, Goblin Pirate, Legendary Creature, one red and two. First Strike, three, three First Strike is already pretty decent. Uh, when you throw in that whenever he attacks, whenever a pirate you control attacks, you create a treasure token, target creature can't block this turn or exile the top card of your library you may play this turn. All fantastic things to choose um, whenever he attacks. Really, really great. Again, treasure tokens, that helps us ramp. It also gives us an artifact to sacrifice potentially. Uh, target creature can't block, that big blocker is no longer uh, stopping you, swing right in. Or you could get that bonus card off the top. It might be something you need, like that Infernal Grass, that play with fire to do that extra little bit of damage. Breaches, solid little fill-in card right there. And of course, the guy that I've been talking about the whole game, the whole time, is Oger, T Oger Axonil, who I keep calling Oger Taj, which is the other one. Uh, Oger Tak. He is not Oger Tak, he is Oger Axonil. 
Deepest Might. Two red and two legendary creature, God. 4-4 four, four, Trampler, solid all around. If a red source you control would deal an amount of non-combat damage less than Oger Axinal's power to an opponent, that source deals damage equal to Ozer Axinal's power instead. When he dies, return him to the battlefield, tapped and transformed under its owner's control. So even when he dies, he comes back as a red mana, then he can transform back into Ozer Axinal, um, only if red sources you control have dealt four more non-combat damage um, this turn and only as a sorcery. So to resurrect him, if we cast like a uh, lightning strike and a play with fire, we can actually resurrect him out of his land form, bring him back into the ultimate form right there is really cool and again that's what it's all uh swinging around a lot of this stuff is actually pretty cheap there's a lot of commons and uncommons in this he's going to be our mythic rare if you want it to work if you're a red player a rakdos player any kind of red combination player even an is it player if you're ever thinking about doing red damage in any deck he is something to invest in uh i put four of them in there i actually started play with three of them to see if it works it does work um it does work, it's fine to get him out that way if you don't want to have the Mythic Rare suspend, but he is necessary. Six Swamps, 10 Mountains, three Black Cleaves, three Sulphurus, and one Restless Vent for that little man land action right there. That's what we're looking at. Uh, 21 creatures all together with a 2.1 average on the creatures, 23 lands. Not an expensive deck, very quick. The only thing that's really expensive is Ojer. Everything else is a two drop. 21 creatures were scattered across the board here, although we do have a decent amount of vampires. Funny how that is. Elementals, goblins, gods, humans, pirates, shamans, snakes, blah, 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 it's all there. Mountains and swamps. We have a little bit more, actually probably about double the amount of red than we do black. So we do have a little bit more red than black mana right there for your pleasure. Let's take a look on the horizontal view. Horizontal gang rise up. Uh, if you're horizontal gang, tell me in the comments, do you prefer horizontal or vertical? Here we go. Um, the other things we do is different removals with cut down, bitter triumph, go for the throat in case you want. Nahiri's Warcrafting is not a bad way to put five damage onto the board and get rid of that Sheldred. We also have Volt Surge, uh, recommended to us by Shadows, a uh, good friend of ours from the Discord. One red is instant. It does two damage if, you, if the spell surge cost was paid, um, the spell's additional cost was paid. Uh, it does four damage instead so if you have those extra artifacts those blood treasure whatever you have you can do four at instant speed to a uh, creature target creature planeswalker you can't go face with it that's why i'm not super convinced that it's the best version but i want to put it in there because it is a good way to put down a lot of damage quickly especially with the resources that we have so that's what we're looking like on the horizontal leave a comment tell me what you think about this one i read every single comment Sometimes I don't always have a response, but I do read all of them. They go right to my phone. I have notifications on it. So if you want to know something, have a question, have a comment, want to tell me it's great, it's bad, whatever, leave a comment. Let me know. I love seeing them. Here we go into the game. We're going to go right into ranked in this, and we're going to start climbing up ranked pretty effectively with this one overall. Uh, here we go, boys. Wish us luck in the Rakdos, Smackdos, Ojer, Toxer, Ojer. Oh, I can't remember his name. Ojer, my dude. I had to download Untap, man, because Aether Hub is just not functionality of it right now. I'm doing both because I need to be able to see the wins and losses of my decks. I actually need to see who I play the games. I'm pretty happy about that. Yesterday I put up that video. Um, and I rage quit an Azorius control player like three turns in. And I said, I wonder if people are going to be like, oh, Jay, that's bad sportsmanship. Um, and then people were just like, that's pretty funny. That was pretty good. Yeah, I get it. I, I'm glad they... Feral Manje. Feral Manje. Feral Manje. What's up, Feral Manje? Is that right? Am I saying that right? Is it Feral Manje or am I screwing it up? Mange, feral mange. Oh, okay, so you're going for the full. <clears throat> you're going for the full. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like a, I'm like a cat. Mange. Oof. Scrolls her of a curber. Urkrum. 
burn a current learn ver. Uh -huh. sacrifice that artifact. Boom. Pop. Boom. He's feral and has mange. Yeah, that's the that's the vibe that I'm getting. Um Feral Mange. Charlemagne. You know Charlemagne just means Charles the Great. That's pretty funny when you think about it. Charlemagne. It sounds a lot better put together, but it just means Charles the Great. <clears throat> I'm gonna call you Ferlemange. So now I've brought it up, I've elevated it from something that was supposed to be low and base. Now you're Ferlemange. Now you just mean Fera the Great. Ooh, the Exarch. Okay. Let's kill him, because fuck him. For real, though. Boom. Skrelv, Deflector, Might. Uh, let's do Odric Tai. Hopefully he doesn't have a... Hopefully he doesn't draw a kill card right here. Um, because then I can do a lot of damage to him. If this is a kill card, I'm going to be real mad. No, I can't do that, bro. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to banish it before you banish it, and then it's going to do four damage to you. Boom. Then it's going to be coitins for you. Oh, it's block. So he is going to gain life on these back ones right here. Okay. Alright. Let's do that. Calling Raysa on the Cointains. Coin? What's Coy? Coy? Coytans. Do you mean the Curis comment? Curis? Cointains? Coytan? Coytans? Or it's gonna be Coytans for you? Oh yeah. Or it's gonna be Coytans for you. He should totally uh, activate his Skrell. There you go. Red. Oh, it's gonna be Coitans for you. Okay, so what we want to do... We want to do that. And he said no thing. Coitans. Listen, I'm from the Midwest, man. That's how we say it up there. Yeah, build is pretty good, man. I'm not going to say. I'm, I'm going to say the build is pretty solid. Alias, how you doing, man? Um, honestly, I really like New Capenna. I hope we go back to New Capenna. I know a lot of people didn't vibe with it, but that, that Art Deco gangster shit that, like... Megapolis, Art Deco, Gangster shit. I like that, man. Have you guys seen any excellent cards? That's a nice one, two, three. I'm gonna drop that. Uh, I'm gonna drop that. Open up with Baldarin. You standard players holding resources for a long time compared to LCI? I guess so. I mean, that's one way. A juggalo. Well, you're doing your part, man. You're doing your part. Hey, what's up, Wood Dog? Hey, Wood Dog, I ain't seen you around in a while, man. Where you been at, man? Where's the dog been? Where's the dog, man? What the dog doing? Um, Oof, Kessig, 
pop, swing, up. Mamoulian, haven't played main run, so I see a good amount of new cards. Are people just not are worried about the new cards, so they're not bringing them into ranked? Is that what you're suggesting there, Mamoulian? Is that uh, they don't want to bring they don't want to bring the new cards into ranked? They just want to test them out. I feel like it's been two weeks. I feel like it's probably time to to, to just do it. Boom, boom. Don Dalian has the idea. Uh, Ninety percent of content creators are holding all decks. Literally one new excellent card, so it feels like ranked. Oh, AO just ordered to tell him your villainy beanie. Love to see it. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Oni call Anvil. We will take that next. Thank you. Declare your villainy. Um, create a treasure token. Boom. Pop, pop, pop. Holy shit. Thank you for ordering that beanie, AO. I really got to make some new merch. Would y'all like some new merch? see what he does here over slime more like no thank you slime he gets to return these three cards I really got it. I've been thinking about it. And I'm like, I gotta make some new merch. I'll dress up snow in it and uh, take some pictures of snow. Wow, Athena the Bun. Yeah, that's that sounds very similar to how what I was experiencing. That sounds like pretty much what what was going on with me. Actually, we do want that. Yeah, I'm seeing more comp complex combinations with old stuff. People are just, I don't know, people always want to run high speed. I'm not a spike. I like brewing too much to be a spike. Um, I like brewing way too much. Blossoming Tortoise. Uh, okay. And he's out of there. He is gone. He said, I don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. By the way, I'm offering a brand of J Villain cookies. Uh, they're coming out pretty soon. They're going to be $50 a box. All right. But there's like seven cookies in there. So shut up about it already. Okay. Shut, shut, shut up about it. So just be on the lookout for J Villain brand fuck you cookies. Uh, da -dun 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 -dun. Okay, what do we want here? This is a tough one, man. I get ready to play with fire. Do you want to help me, cookies, and stream to have J Villain fuck you brand of cookies?
I find that controversy pretty funny. I mean, on one hand, I, I kind of get that she's joking. On the other hand, the cookies are really fucking expensive, too. I mean, uh, I think that that, if the cookies were cheap and she made that joke, I think it'd be one thing. If they were, but they were expensive and she made the joke. Oh, uh, 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 Pokimane. Pokimane made a $34 bag of cookies with a healthy cookie company. And people said that's too expensive. And she said, if you're a broke bitch, just say so. so that's what she told one of her viewers on stream when they complained about the price. Um, yeah. And I realize it was meant to be a joke, probably. I realize this. Okay, I understand this intellectually. It did not come off go good at the time. And I think that if the cookies actually were fairly cheap, uh, then I think, it, like I said, it would have gone down a lot smoother um, than it did. Which I think is the overall problem. They are 30, that's not a joke, they are $34, but apparently that's just for the pack, and there's several packs in the bunch. Um, so, make of that what you will. Create treasure token. We're gonna crack that treasure token open. The sweet juice is inside of it. As we say, frequently, pop. Your next pop. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I see both sides of it. Like, I tease you guys in chat, too. It may have been taken out of context. Um, Like, I'm not going to... Listen, when you're streaming... Here's the thing. Here's why streamers get in trouble. Do you want honest, honest to go now? I know it is it is too expensive for 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 cookies. It is it's too much. But um, the the real problem with big streamers, especially like that, why they're always getting in controversies. God's honest truth: they're live for too goddamn long and they're talking too much. Do you know why I consign myself to about an hour and a half to two hours? I couldn't fucking do this eight hours a day. Um, you know what I mean? I I couldn't. They're on live for eight to ten hours a day. Every day, you're live for 70 hours a week. Some dumb shit's going to come out of your mouth. It's going to get clipped and it's going to share it everywhere. You can't police all of your thoughts all the time. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it's I get that. I get streamer struggle. But I... it It's also... Um, You'll start Uncle Ted posting. Yeah, I stay away from a lot of topics like that because I don't want to put my foot in my mouth and I don't think my content should revolve around harsh political takes, economics and stuff. We're here to play magic. This is magic time. I have them. I have my own personal opinions. I don't really want to share them. As you may or may not know, I'm a private person and this isn't the forum for them. I'm not a variety streamer. I'm a Magic the Gathering streamer. Um, you know, so... But yeah, I don't. I couldn't do eight hours. I couldn't do this. The most that I can stream is probably three hours. I, when Ixalan, I was so excited for Ixalan, I did three and a half hours, and then I did more that night. That was probably my upper limit of what I was capable of doing. Um, let's do this. Yeah, and I know my limitations. Very early on, I know my limit. I'm not going to run all night until five o'clock in the morning. I'm say, okay, I'm done. I'm tired. My voice is giving out. Um. You know, I want to I want to go do something else. So that's the other thing. But big streamers, it's their livelihood. They don't have that luxury. Um, they literally have to be streaming. I mean, at a certain point, I think also legacy streamers like Pokemon, 
at a certain point, people are saying, you have enough money, right? We know you have enough money. You have $100 million or something like that, $50 million. You live in a mansion. We know you have enough money. We, you don't need to be doing this. You know, it's, it's, a whole other, it's a whole other issue, I think, that, that they kind of run into with that, um, with respect to that. So, yeah, I mean, they're always looking for more, and I get, get your bag, get your dollar, whatever, but I, I think it just rubs people the wrong way sometimes. I think that that's probably the biggest, the biggest issue. Um, and this is a fun job, but it's still a job. I don't always want to do this every night. That's why I skip. So, you know, it is still work. Um, that's the other thing as well. I think people are just like, no, you play video games all day. It's just, it's all fun 100% of the time. Not really. I mean, <laughs> oh, Temptator said no thank you. Temperator said no. It is a fun a lot of the times, but um, it's not always just thrill a minute. I've had bad nights on here. You guys have seen here. I've had bad nights. I've been in miserable moods, man. Every single thing I throw out the ladder gets demolished. And I'm like, bro, I don't even want to play this game anymore. But I have to keep going because I want to put up content, you know. The funny thing about streaming is it filters out the people who really want to do it. I'm at the point right now, I couldn't stop. I don't know what's wrong with me, but, like, it's such a habit. I guess, what do they say? If you do something for a thousand hours, it's a habit. I love putting up videos. It makes me so happy to see, not, literally nothing makes me happier. I get a comment that says, Jay, I hit Mythic with your deck. Thank you so much. I'm so stoked, dude. The fact that I can share a, a Magic the Gathering deck with some random person on the internet and that it actually has a tangible result for their game playing. Um, it's so, it's so rewarding. It's deeply rewarding. Um, because I love this game. I obviously can never stop playing this game. I, I've been playing it for 30 years. I'm obviously never going to stop playing. It. Um, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So it's just ingrained in me now just to fucking do it. Ooh, Odric Tai early on. We do that. Boom. Oh, he's not Oger Tai. He's Oger Axonil. Oger Axon. He's awesome looking, by the way. I don't know if y'all know this. He is so fucking sick looking. He has like a fucking skull face coming out of a lion's mane. It is wild. Lion's mane. I don't know what that is. Let's do that. Jay hit gold. Hey, I'm happy to hear that too, man. The other ones I love, just getting back into the game, I looked for a new deck, yours popped up, and I'm loving the game again. Lo oh, man, C couldn't be happier when I hear something like that. I just got back in the game, man, and I'm loving it. Fantastic to hear. Best thing in the world to hear. You know, oh, I played back in middle school and high school, and now as an adult, I said, well, let me try Arena again. And now I'm playing it again, and I love it. Oh, couldn't be happier with Hopefully he doesn't play removal on Oger Axonil. He's gonna play removal on Oger Axonil. Fuck me, man. Nope. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. He's got something there. He's got a black mana, he's got a treasure. Nope. Nope. Okay. Black Cleave Cliffs. Um, let's see if we can do this. Okay, we're gonna try some here, folks. So if he casts any spell that's three or less mana, he dies immediately. It doesn't, 
I mean, for control, what we want it there for is to punish people with Ojer. That's the whole point of this. Oh, yeah, like we're going to punish the shit out of him right now. He's going to gain that life. Doesn't matter. He's going to fucking die. Watch. Uh, you want to see how f you want to see how it goes? And so the story goes. Punishment. That's how it goes. Mellow Marrow. There you are. Rank. He can if you're if he's set up and they don't have the removal, he can dish out like I've had him do 12 damage on a on a single turn. Just because he's there, ready to go. HCD, welcome to the uh, welcome back. Oh, I'm so glad you hit gold, by the way. Melomera, where you been, Melomera? How you doing, man? Got a lot of people here tonight. Um, I like that. I like to see a nice, big, healthy, juicy audience. You know what I mean? Nice, thick audience. Yeah. Did I say steak? Did you say steak? I don't know why. Um, I've been uh, one of my friends. I used to play Vampire and uh, Vampire the Masquerade and um, Magic with. He didn't play. No, he didn't play Magic. He occasionally would play D and D. He didn't much care for it. He really liked. Um, Vampire the Masquerade. He was there. If you wanted to play Vampire the Masquerade, Old World and New World, he was there. Um, Robbie? What was his name? I can't remember his name. I know what he looks like. Um, this is a terrible opener. I I mean, honestly, I can't get blood tied out, but everything else, I, I, I might go for it just for the hell of it. Yeah, we used to play, we used to play the pen and paper. If there was a pen and paper game, I've probably played it. Like, my 20s was working mediocre jobs and playing pa pen and paper games and magic cards. Like, I, re I really blew my 20s on that. Honestly, I'm not mad about it. It was a great 20s. Um, then I finally, I went back and uh, I went back to school and finished, finished my degree and then got into what I'm doing now. But, um, yeah. Oh, see, we drew it. Perfect. So for, I don't know whatever reason the point is he used to go he used to go all the time. Did you say steak? Whenever we um whenever anybody mentioned the word steak. Uh I don't know why. I don't know what that came from. I don't know what it was. Um He was so, he we had so much fun playing vampire. He played a Malkavian. We also played a zombie. We adopted um Basically, we uh, adopted Hunter, the Hunter White Wolf game, into a zombie apocalypse game, um, which was really fun. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Let's do that. And he played in that. He made a schematic. He went back to his house. He's like, I want to choose um, a bunch of resources. I want to choose five dots and resources starting, and I want to build a starting base. My guy is a conspiracy theorist who... Uh, who believed the zombie apocalypse were coming that you know there was a secret government conspiracy to make zombies he was ready for it that's that's what i want my guy to be as a, like a prepper you know what i mean that's my whole character i said sure man he said i'm gonna come back tomorrow oh <laughs> this dude overnight made one of the most complex compounds i've ever seen for like a self-sustaining underground bunker that was built into a parking structure that i in like in like Two days he came back with it. He's like, this is what I want. It was, I still have it somewhere. I have the paperwork for it somewhere. He drafted this thing. This thing's like a poster. You could probably take this to an engineer and they would probably be able to build it. Like, it was so complex. He used like drafting tools. He had like lines for electricity, fire, like fire suppression, water. He had everything. It was wild, man. He did such a good job on that, man. And it was hilarious. Um... This guy's got to go. Boom. Uh, yeah, it was it was really great. It was really great. Let me get rid of Blood Tide Harvester there. Um, and I don't know for what reason when you said that. Did you say steak? 
Um, he used to always say that line. I don't, know. I don't know what the hell that's from. Anyways, that was my long diatribe about uh, playing White Wolf games. <laughs> Who here played White Wolf? Anybody? Nobody? Nobody played White Wolf games? Oh, Bog Brew. Okay, what do you play? You played you played Werewolf? I never got to play Werewolf. Unfortunately. I never got to play Werewolf, unfortunately. I would have really liked to. People played Werewolf. We played mixed groups. I know you're not really supposed to do that. Um, But we played mixed groups. Who is the Forsaken? Is that vampires? Are the Forsaken? Or is it werewolves? No, it's werewolves and the apocalypse and werewolves. They're Forsaken, right? It was the two. The new werewolf. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> we played all of them. The amount of books that we had between us. We had a buddy named... What was his name? Eddie. And Eddie, he just... He, I mean, the guy was, uh, let's, I mean, all things being equal, the guy was a fucking book addict. If you said, I'm thinking about playing something out of this book, bro, that book was there, like, the next day. Um, he was like, bet, uh, I got you. He wanted to buy books. He was happy to buy books. <clears throat> we, we'd see him lugging into the store when we go to the fucking store to get whatever we needed or to play or something. We're coming to our spot. He would be lugging a fucking, like, duffel bag full of fucking source books with him, man. Um, and we used to tease him, well, you're bringing your stacking books again? He's like, well, I may need this rule. Um, and I'm like, just, just look it up. He's like, it's faster if I have the books with me. You know, if I have the PDFs, it's one thing. But if I have the books with me, um, I'll, it'll be faster. You know, because I can just grab the book. I don't need to open my phone. It's I know right where they is. Why not play Voltage Surge? Um, well, no real, no real. Re oh, I know why not play Voltage Surge. Voltage Surge can't go to face, right? Can it go to face? Creature Planeswalker. Nope, it's got to go to face, dude. Has to go face. Hold your tide demands face hit. We don't want to go to Creature. That's why. Good game. Yeah, we have to... We, we, we can unload. We can hold two or three. Um, we can hold a couple of... Uh, uh, play with fires in our hand and then swing them right directly into just when Ogre comes out they each now do four damage we can burn somebody down with those so that's probably why okay It's not a great opener, but I go first. I mean, you could throw two, a couple of them in. You could slide them in. Uh, you don't always have anvil, man. You always want that. You always want something in your back pocket, man. If I was going to put a burner in here, I would put the uh, Sheldred burner. Really, that's the only one that I think we need. Let's do what is he doing here? Man? 
got some sort of instant in his hand. Cool. Okay. If we don't draw a card, I'm going to swap out one of those Ogres. Jisinister. Jin. Jis. Sinister. Oh no, is this an artifact deck? Oh, Monastery Mentor. I'm going to kill that card. Oh yeah, I'm going to kill him real good. Real spicy like. We really need a mana right here. Nope, we didn't get one. 40% chance of a mana. Um, three blind mice. He's trying to do three blind mice in infinite. If I may, if I might, deep as might tonight. Uh, if he doesn't have something for Ojer, he's gonna immediately die. A token, that's a copy of a token. Yeah, if he doesn't get rid of Ojer right now, he's immediately gonna die. I'm just gonna play two two anvils, and it's gonna hit him for five, four for each one. Drift Ronin, how you doing, man? Nope, that's not it. Yeah, that's instant death, unless he exiles it. Nope, he just chose instant death. Fantastic, so we do that, boom, pop. Do that, boom, pop. There you go. There you go. Ranking and taking. Trying to see my statistics real quick. I think we might have enough footage. Rakdos Sakdos, 67% win rate. Um. beat the shit out of Mono White, apparently. I just fucking punish them, apparently, so... Okay. One more when you shake them, break them. Shrimp. You're telling me a shrimp fried this right? You're telling me a shrimp fried this rice. Not bad. Okay, go first. Boom. I should have played play with fire right there. I don't know why I did that. Oop, I don't know why I lagged there either. Do Kessick Flame Breather. Oof. I still gotta do my Golgari deck, man. I don't don't think I forgot about it. I didn't forget about it. I still I still got it. Oh look. Our buddy here is going to be doing a Golgari. Golgari self mill. Good stuff. Um, let's go ahead and kill him. 40% chance of a land draw here. Really need to get one. Boom. Boom. 
Lore Keeper. Is he doing vampires? I mean, not vampires. Is he doing dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Mm. Let's swing in. Vlad the Stoner, how you doing, man? Unfortunately, the rule of magic is bolt the bird. We can't let him ramp. Welcome to the show, my guy. This card, very nice. Uh, you think you know? You think you know me? How do you know me, good sir? You know me from YouTube? Yes, I do. Christmas. He's here a lot of night. He's here more. He's he's in my chat hanging out more often times than he is not. Let me just say that. He's he's in my chat more nights than he is not in my chat. So what is he gonna do here, man? He's gonna cast something. Gonna ping him. Ping him. Boom, boom. Ding him. Gotcha. Yeah. I've raided out to him. He's raided out to me. Yeah, we know each other. We we know each other. He's gonna he's gonna do that. He's gonna make me hit him, huh? He's gonna make me be a bad guy. Thank you, man. It was made by ICPJs. Oh, do I? <laughs> do I like vampires? Why, yes, perchance I do. Um, my, I have a YouTube channel. If you may or may not know, I'm mostly a YouTuber. I streaming occasionally on Twitch. I also stream on YouTube. Um, hey, what's up? Speaking of which, Wample Stillskin, brewed a smithy deck that searched for 200,000 creatures. Fun today with the angels. God's unwanted. He had fun today with the angels. Wample Stillskin, which set are basic lands from? These are M21 premium lands. That's what they are. Um, so, yeah, uh, the, the, the deck that made my channel take off was vampires so i'm forever indebted to vampires and this guy's just gonna run down the clock here fantastic it's as shrimple as that boom boom Yeah, I hope people like the angels. Um, they're very good. They go off. Yeah, they go off. Smithy deck. I gotta play more with that smithy deck, man. Those smithy Boros decks are real interesting, to be honest. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I love vampires forever. My handle is a note to Mr. Teps. I would assume that the name Vlad is a is a off-handed reference to... Um, we were just talking about playing Vampire the Masquerade, the tabletop game. But, uh, yeah. Vito, Vito is my favorite character of all time. My, my favorite deck. I currently have an undefeated Vito Brawl deck. And this guy's gonna go out. It's as shrimple as that. Either he desynced or his mom walked in and he had to hide his phone. The original Vito, that's the one I got. 
Okay, good stuff here. Well, guys, now it's going to be time for the shakedown breakdown. Selesnia Smithy. Oh, I got to try that one. Um, stay tuned. The stream isn't ending, but the video is. Thank you for watching the video to its completion if you got to the end. You know, I used to do a secret word of the day, and I think the word of the day is going to be anvil uh, for today. So if you know the word of the day, write it in the comments. Um, I've been Jay and You've been great. Again, I've wanted to run this Rakdos Ojer tie with a couple of the new things. I think there's a lot here. Um... We did upgrade it quite, well, not quite a bit, but the addition of Fanatical Offering, Breaches, and Oger uh, Axonil, um, all pretty good. They all kind of help out. So there's a decent amount of new cards in here, including we finally found a place for Scalding Viper. We don't even need the Steam Clean uh, aspect of it. So that's going to be it for me tonight for this deck. I've been Jay Villain. 